Hi everyone, this is Charmaine here and I'm the registered dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes and I have Denise here. You can say hi to everyone, Denise. Hi! Awesome, Good awesome. To be here. Glad that you're here as well, Denise. Um, thank you so much for getting on here and for those of you that don't know, Denise is our program participant. Um, and she has amazing results, so can't wait to dive in. But first question is, what made you reach out to me in the first place, Denise? Earlier this year, my mother unexpectedly passed away. Mm, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, so it was hard. As soon as that happened and I had to go, she was in a foreign country, I had to go deal with all that and I got I'm back sorry. and weird stuff started happening to mm -hmm. my body, weird stuff. So I go to the doctor and lo and behold, I have diabetes. And it wasn't really that big a shock. I think I kind of knew in the back and I was mm. just like pretending, you know how we do, you just pretend. But the whole fragility of life and the mortality was right in my face. Yeah, I just wasn't gonna do that. So mm -hmm. I went around and started looking. Uh, mm -hmm. And this time I was looking, because everybody I know that has diabetes is not doing very well with it. You know, mm. I, you don't even really know they have diabetes based on what they're eating. It's just, and my doctor's advice was really much more about drugs and I'm not really much of a drug person. And she, her advice on what to eat seemed pretty lame too. So I just started looking, I thought, well, this time I'm gonna find clinicals. I'm going mm -hmm. to find, uh, I'm not just gonna get somebody off YouTube or some doctor mm -hmm. that says, hey, go do paleo, which I did. And I'm sure that that before, and I'm sure that was not very good for my health. And that was based on a doctor's recommendation. And I found Neil Barnard mm. and I, at that time I didn't even know that diabetes was reversible mm. and I didn't know what really caused it about the, the fat mm -hmm. inside the cells. I did not know that that's really what caused diabetes. Um, so that was all a revelation. And then, um, I was moving really quickly. I wasn't going to mess around with this. I wanted this to go. As soon as I knew it was reversible, it's like, this is temporary. This is going. I, I have control of this. This is going. Love it. And so I looked locally for very briefly to try and find a nutritionist or a dietitian and couldn't find what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And then I found something from you on YouTube and you actually mentioned Barnard. So it made me dig further and further into your, your YouTube. And, and then I set up the call with your person mm -hmm. and and so I would say within three weeks of getting diagnosed, I started with you. Amazing. And what would you say is your, that's a pretty short period of time, right? I and wasn't going to, I'm not messing around. <laughs> and what would you say is your biggest why for you? Terror. I don't want to lose my limbs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the doctor's like, and every year I'll check your feet. And it's like, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. No, you know, and, and, and then I, once I really let myself understand that I had diabetes and then I started thinking about all the ravages that it does inside your body. Mm -hmm. I didn't want any of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that. I wanted remaining 20 to 30 years of my life to be vibrant and healthy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of things I still want to do. And I, and I, diabetes doesn't play a role in any of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So really it's, it's, you know, I don't want the bad stuff and I want all the good stuff. I love that. It's kind of like the fork in the road, yes, right? Your exactly. doctor's like, all right, this is your trajectory. And you're like, no, like, I do not want that. You want the other road, right? Exactly. I love yeah. that. And how has your journey been in terms of reversing diabetes, would you say? It was excellent to do it. It was mm -hmm. extremely challenging in the beginning trying to mm -hmm. figure out the food. Mm -hmm. I've never been much of a cook. Yeah. I'd always heard that soy wasn't good for you. So mm -hmm. I never really ate much of it. And I'd certainly never made anything with soy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so trying to figure out what to eat and trying to find recipes because you have resources, but they're not that accessible, frankly, from my perspective. Mm -hmm. um, so having to learn how to cook without oil, didn't even know it was possible, mm -hmm. totally possible. Finding things that I liked, like I would mm -hmm. find recipes and I'd cook them and there were multiple times I threw it all away. It tasted so bad to me, just so, so bad. Mm -hmm. And so it was this whole learning process of figuring out like soy curls are a miracle, by the way, mm -hmm. a miracle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love them and I love God it. bless him um, mm -hmm. for making them. Um, you know, I figured out if I grate regular mm -hmm. tofu, I have to mm -hmm. grate it so it's super mm -hmm. fine and then I can eat it. I, mm -hmm. I like, then it tastes good to me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that weird internal texture that apparently I don't like. Mm -hmm. I would find these recipes and, and so the food, the food was the biggest challenge at first, right. but mm -hmm. having particularly Coach Cara as a resource logging and the accountability of logging on mm -hmm. the diary all the time everything i ate before after everything and then having those weekly 
loom videos that she sends me where she would really carefully go through what I was eating and then look at what my what my blood sugars were before and after and give me this really good insight that helped me adjust all the time was so good yeah it was so good and then she'd make recommendations and every now and then i'd say okay i've got this deep craving for indian food i really want some mm -hmm. mm here -hmm. so she would she went and found a recipe that i could make and i made it and it was delicious but it was way too time consuming i've made great recipes that took too much time so they only get made once so <laughs> I have to. Keep I feel it you. <laughs> I'm all about simple and easy. <laughs> so that was that was just such a great resource for that. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have this personality type where I'm kind of an all or nothing. Mm -hmm. and so that lets me do things like jump in this super, you know, make a decision mm -hmm. and move. Right. But the problem has always been that if you stumble, you're done. Mm -hmm. And so the coaching calls and having and learning the philosophy that there's no cheat days, there's no failing. Mm -hmm there's flexibility and choice and that it's not about being perfect and that perfect's not even possible. I mean, mm -hmm. which we all know, but nonetheless, some of us just can't deal properly. So that mind shift, that continual reinforcement of that mm -hmm. has made it, this is going to last. It's already mm -hmm. last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I can, so that shift for me was sort of I love seismic. That. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. I love that you said it's a seismic shift. And I think a lot of times, especially, I know you were just diagnosed with diabetes, but you know, there's a lot of people that have been diagnosed with diabetes for a long time. And when they try different things, they want to be perfect, but that's usually the downfall because you can't be perfect, right? Um, and so I love that you're able to have that mindset shift as well. And also you're able to find foods that you love, right? Like. Not and this is like a totally different world, but not everything that you try, you're gonna love it, right? Like for me, like I don't necessarily, you know, like a lot of farro, for example. I like a lot of quinoa, right? Like there's things that I like and things that I'm like, oh, like it's cool. Like it's I'm not like a huge fan of, but you know, it's fine. Um, so I think it's it's cool that you're able to find something that you love. Um, and I think that's also what makes it sustainable as well. So thank you for sharing. And what would you say are some of the results that you've been seeing, the numbers that you've been seeing, if you don't mind sharing? Oh, I don't mind sharing. When I went to the doctor, my uh, blood sugar was 270. Mm -hmm. And when I went back about four months after starting this program, it was 99. Wow. My um, A1C was 11.3. Mm -hmm. It's 5.9. Ooh, amazing. So I'm, I'm closing in and all the other numbers, all the cholesterol and the mm. triglycerides, almost everything is completely within range. Yeah. So if the follow-up had been my first appointment with the mm -hmm. doctor and I had done this, you know, there would have been no here, take medicine. There would have been mm. no, it would have just been, hey, you're, you've got to watch your sugar. You need to yeah, move it yeah. down. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you're a little bit high still in one of your cholesterols. Do this. I'm almost normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just in that short, short period of time. Yeah. So those numbers are just going to continue to get better and better. Mm -hmm. I it's, love that. It's remarkable. That's mind blowing. Um, mm -hmm. But one of the biggest, so that's wonderful. And mm -hmm. that's really what made me start. And that's really why you do this. Mm -hmm. But there's this other really big change that's happened. Big result that's happened. I am so much more optimistic about my life. Mm -hmm. I even like, that. I mean, even before the diagnosis, just living with all the extra weight. I mean, I've dropped 50 mm -hmm. pounds. Amazing. 50 pounds. 50 pounds. I'm still a couple of inches. I still have at least a couple more inches. But it's only mm -hmm. that A couple more inches to get off my waist to be, you know, at right. the maximum allowable that for, for the best for diabetes. But it's not like I'm counting calories. It's not like I, I, mm -hmm. none of that. It's just this byproduct of doing this. Help, I love help it. Stuff. But really, I'm much more optimistic that I can do things. Mm -hmm started I um, found this believe you can and you will logo for the front of my phone and now it's my philosophy absolutely I can absolutely. I think it's going to be great and I can control this oh that makes me tear up like and, and I think I just love what you shared about 
how it's not really about the numbers. The numbers are amazing and impressive, and I'm just like, what, like 50 pounds? That's that's crazy.、Um, but I think the most meaningful thing to me is that you are just optimistic now. Like you are able to overcome this. Imagine how many more things you're going to accomplish in life, right? Like you know,、exactly. we had a little chat before this. You know, you're an impressive woman already. I'm like, wow, like how much more? Are you going to do in life after you reverse your diabetes? After you know, like, okay, like I can do this. Like, how much more can I do? Right, kind of like、yep. the motto on your little logo, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, it. I know it's、mm-hmm. it's such a lovely surprise.、Mm. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And what would you say is your biggest tip to someone who's on the fence about reversing diabetes, changing their lifestyle? Now, what do you think? Now,、mm. just do it now, now, now. Because for lots of reasons. Got to do it for yourself, and you got to do it now because if you、mm-hmm. think, I mean, diabetes is not nice to the inside of your body.、Mm-hmm. It's not nice to your heart,、mm-hmm. and it's just not nice.、Mm-hmm. Um, and you need to be kind to yourself. And having、mm-hmm. a group like this, like I didn't want to stumble around and try、mm-hmm. and figure it out. And when you have a team like this, you don't have to. You're still、mm-hmm. going to stumble, but there's someone to give you some answers, and it's much easier. And there's someone to talk to, and so be kind to yourself and、mm-hmm. do this. Because while I had some sticker shock. Around it, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit that. But then I started thinking. I've spent a lot more money on stuff that is going that had infinitesimal impact on my life,、mm-hmm. and this is gigantic.、Mm-hmm. This is my life. This、mm-hmm. is this is the quality of my life. This is me. So do that. And then my the other thing is once you know, once you genuinely know, which I didn't before, that you can reverse diabetes. It's not kind to yourself, your friends, or your family、mm-hmm. not to do it because it's going to make you fra- frailer sooner. It's going、mm-hmm. to make you ill longer in your life. It's going to put the added Burden on your family to care for you longer, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have to be that way. I love what you just shared. That totally made my day. And you know, I think a lot of times, I know a lot of times, it's you know about numbers and things like that, but it's not. Like I think what you shared is so profound because it's it's really about you being kind to yourself, you loving yourself. Like this whole process of you. Making a change, you know, trying recipes that you may not like, but still trying it anyways. You know, just you throwing yourself into it—it's an act of love for yourself, right? Like, and I think a lot of times people need to know that they need to do—they easily can do that for their kids. They easily can do that for their partners or whoever like is in their life, but it's hard to. Do it for yourself, and you're doing it. So yeah, yeah I yeah. think that's amazing. If you have to start by doing it for your kids, that's okay. You're gonna get to the part、right. where you're like, oh my gosh,、mm. look, for me, for、mm-hmm. me, I'm、yeah. happy. I love that. I love that. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our audience? Just do it. Just do it. No one I told about how diabetes happens or why you are diabetic knew.、Mm. For some reason, this information is not widely known.、Mm. So I suspect many people. Don't know that it's reversible,、mm-hmm. and that it's just a matter of cutting out the fat. And this is totally doable.、Mm-hmm. And now I found things I really do like. Yeah, I make chocolate pudding out of silken tofu. Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> and you did not like tofu before, huh? <laughs> no, I just had never really had it.、Mm-hmm. Silken tofu is much better. Yeah, <laughs> it's more like a desserty vibe, right? With it with is, it is.、Tofu. And I, I've told some people, they're like, "Oh my God, you can't give up cheese. How can you give up cheese?" It's like food is not going to control the quality、mm. of my life. Instead, I can flip that script, and the、mm-hmm. plan can enhance the quality of my life. I love that. So I'm not a slave to cravings or、mm. all the things that kept me fat and unhealthy for decades. It doesn't have to be that way. Wow, that is so powerful. Absolutely, you know. I think a lot of times it's like, oh, I cannot give up this. I cannot give up this. But like, who's the boss here? Is the food、yeah. the boss, or are you the boss? Right? You know, when you're the、yeah. boss, yeah, maybe one day you can have cheese. You know, but but you're the boss. It's it's a different narrative that you know you're sharing. It is.、Mm-hmm. It is. And you know, you find things like cheese made out of cashews can be quite delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not the same thing. It's not like it's a complete. Re- it's not a one-to-one replacement. Right.、You're、finding other things you love、yeah. that are creamy and delicious and give you that. It's so. It's yeah. It's amazing. I'm so proud of you, Denise. And it's been so life-giving talking to you and just hearing your transformation, your story. And you know, I'm excited to you know have you for life. You know, whoever joins our reversing diabetes family. 
you're always yeah. in it for life. So super grateful for you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I really, really appreciate it. And for those of you that want to know what we're talking about in terms of the science of reversing insulin resistance, reversing diabetes, you can check out my free reversing diabetes training. Um, link is in the description if you're on YouTube or in my bio. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon.